name is this place? Didn't you read the note? It's a battle arena for the last time that you fight the tyrant. Not the tyrant, the uh what what is this thing? Nemesis. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm putting the pistol away. Seems like they're really pushing me to carry a lot of uh, grenade rounds or uh, have any other weapons. Seems like I'm going to be a little overloaded in terms of weaponry for this fight. Save that gunpowder for a little bit too long. I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there, battle the nemesis, and I'll record it all and sell the combat art. Put on a good show, and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good. Uh, of course. I guess... Are there any weird mechanics to this fight? Or am I just gonna blast it? <laughs> oh, that must have hurt. Jill, is that you? Carlos? You're okay. Let me spot for you. The fuck? You gonna do this shit again? Watching, you've got company. Duh. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh shit. Hey, this stuff. What? 
still got that jacket on. Oh, he's pissed. This one. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Damn it. <laughs> All right. I guess I need to be a little bit more on top of where it ends up being. And apparently I put the pistol away, but there was pistol ammunition down there. Where's he at? He's behind the break. on. Let her up. Oh, maybe I shoot the generator. Yeah, I think I have to shoot the generator.
What? Wasn't even on one of the tanks. I feel gypped. Back. Okay. What do I got left? Well, might as well take all this stuff. I don't know, the nemesis might be dead, but I kind of doubt it. Am I in a different room than I was in before? <coughs> of course it's not dead. You killed it with a rail gun during the first game. Sure, fine, I'll take the pistol, but I don't need the ammo. It's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, no, no. You bring money. I like that. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun! to explode and you can't put a price on life <laughs> good luck Nikolai Jill go after Nikolai he's got the vaccine what about you we're running out of time I've got this I know you do look just so you know this is the last fucking time All right. There was some kind of uh, shit that I had to um, press in. Oh! I had to push some crap into effect, into uh, in order to. 
I don't need handgun ammunition. That thing has got to be way too fucking heavy for her to pick up. Like, this game is a little... I mean, as strange as it may say to be talking about something as ridiculous as a video game full of zombies and shit. They really stretch it. Maybe I gotta shoot these things. I like that shit. What? Oh, shit. Uh, did I... Okay, yeah, I got my stuff. Get rid of the fucking pistol. That's not going to do me any good. Let's carry more healing. I'm not even sure the grenade's going to do me any good. Time to do some killing. God damn it. Free position the fucking camera. That's irritating. Jesus Christ, come on. Alright, so it's got these little nodules here. God damn it, come on. I dodged. I hit the dodge. Okay, getting a little tired of seeing that. <laughs> I guess maybe I should play it a little differently. Like, uh, once he starts reaching, not only dodge, but move on to a different generator. Maybe that'll do it. Did you? 
Alright, moving on to a different one. Oh, you take out the nodules and then it collapses. And then you then you start doing this shit. That's irritating. Come on, girl, come on. Oh, you should be dead. Yeah, get close to it. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty uh, pretty sure the nemesis is dead now. Oh, I thought I was gonna run through that hole. <laughs> they they really do a lot to kind of stretch the suspension of disbelief here, because it's kind of where's the ladder? The ladder's back there. So I mean, Jill should have died. A whole bunch of times by now. Just over and over again, she should have been killed. But uh, just keep surviving, sort of like action movie style, getting knocked around and not dying or really even getting hurt. <laughs> and then there was that, uh, that rail gun that looked like it weighed more than she does. It's... it's... Resident Evil 2. The, the remake, that is, only really had one moment that was like that. It was when... I kind of feel like there's something back here. <laughs> one moment like that, and that was when uh, the Jeep Urkin jumped Leon. Not Claire, but Leon from behind. And underneath the police station and smashed him to the ground a bunch of times. That was the one moment where I feel like, yeah, you really should not have survived that. It's happening to Jill all the fucking time, though. Ordered me to reduce umbrella to drop. Ten minutes until missile ah. impact. The missile has launched. And there is my key. Goodbye, Miss Valentine. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. <laughs> Oops, fuck that up. Hey. I told you I couldn't leave you in a Carlos's world. That would just be too cool. What about him? Why'd you do it? Oh. 
there's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. Who are you working for? I'll tell you. If you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool! If I die, you'll never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective work. washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster-making virus. It was greed. Human greed. I decided then and there, the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes too. I would end them, once and for all. All right, so there we go. We have it. Uh, here's my opinion. Render my verdict there. It's not as good as the remake of 2. It... I thought they would have maybe learned their lesson. Because when they did 7, they sort of took a step back and thought, hey, you know what? They got too far away from the horror aspects of the series. So they made seven and they kind of like reintroduced them. Small number of enemies, um, moody atmosphere, all that kind of stuff. Then you had the Resident Evil 2 remake, which really leaned hard into that. This, they pushed more towards the action again. More enemies, um, larger environments a little bit. Not the kind of cramped and claustrophobic hallways that the police station or RPD had in the remake of 2. Larger areas, enemies scattered out and about, seemingly a larger number of them. And the environment wasn't as dark. A lot more of it spent outside. There were street lights, there were fires, all that kind of stuff. Not as many opportunities to be creeping down a hallway with a flashlight, not knowing what's making those noises around the corner. This is more action in terms of its gameplay. It's also more action in the way that the characters, the cutscenes play out and all that kind of stuff. Like I had said before, there was really only one scene in the Resident Evil 2 remake that I thought kind of stretched my suspension of disbelief in terms of what the characters would survive, which was when the G Birkin attacked Leon from behind after he got down below the police station. For some reason it didn't happen to Claire and only happened to Leon. It grabbed him and smashed him into the walkway a bunch of times until it, the walkway collapsed. And then it makes me think, like, how the hell did he survive that? That should have crushed all of his ribs. He'd be dead. The first smash would have killed him. But he survived somehow. Other than that, though, they avoid the situations of getting these characters in too many different 
situations where they seem like they should die. I guess maybe the car exploded in the beginning might have probably should have killed them too. But for the most part, they avoided that. In this, no, freaking Jill just... She should have died. Like, the first five minutes of the game, she should have died a half a dozen times. It was ridiculous. Then she's going, and she's, like, hoisting that giant rail gun up and, like, gunning the nemesis down. It's like, it, it, this, and... I don't know. It... It was a little bit much. Overall, though, it was a good game. Hopefully they uh, continue the... Well, I don't know if I want to see more remakes. Maybe Code Veronica, definitely not 4. Well, anyway, we'll see. Definitely tell this was a budget made on a... or a title made on a budget. A lot of reuse of assets and things like that. A lot of the same zombies. You see a lot of probably a lot of the same textures and all that kind of stuff being applied out and about. Makes sense. I mean, they had this stuff. Uh, the in Raccoon City Police Department uh, environments, all that kind of stuff can be reused easy enough. And they did kind of turn this game around pretty quick. Now, I imagine they were developing it before 2 released. But still, it's... Um, Seems like a quick turnaround, a little more than a year. So, I mean, I do have to give him some credit for it. I mean, it is a good game, so I have to give him credit for that. Just not as good as 2. And I think the mistakes they made were avoidable. This game felt more of a, like, a run-through. There weren't that many environments where you're... Um, backtracking and doubling back across the environment. There weren't that many ways to get around. I guess in the police station it was kind of necessary because Mr. X was going to attack. The tyrant would attack and you needed ways to... you can't just like easily run past him in a hallway. You had to sort of loop back around the building in order to try to get away from him. There wasn't really a need for that in this. Even though the nemesis is here and the nemesis is very fast and very aggressive, it doesn't follow you for very long. So there wasn't much of a need to have this thing uh, be ways of avoiding it. In fact, in reality, the big gameplay perspective that was prevalent in the original one, or as well as prevalent in the Re2 remake, was um, with the tyrant chasing you around, really didn't exist in this, except for like one rather short area where I gotta get back to the train station. So, like you get past it then, and all the other encounters with it are really just kind of set-piece moments, boss battles, that kind of stuff. So, I don't know, people were saying, like, oh man, the Tyrant was so bad in 2. Man, wait till you see what Nemesis is going to be like. Well, they kind of backed themselves into a corner, because the Tyrant was supposed to be slow, and Nemesis was supposed to be fast, Nemesis was supposed to carry weapons, Nemesis was supposed to be more dangerous. But if they had followed through with that, the Nemesis would have been impossible to get away from in a situation like we have seen in Resident Evil 2 Remake. So they kind of got... They couldn't be reasonable with the way Nemesis acted. They had to have it be crazy-ass aggressive, so there really wasn't any other way of having it there other than it was just a set piece. And unfortunately, it's the game's lesser for it. <sighs> if I had done it, I guess I... I don't know, I don't know if I'd want to really rehash... the whole Nemesis, uh, Tyrant Pursuit thing. If I, if I did, though... I wouldn't necessarily... I would give you some sort of way of getting away from it. And... Design the environments that loop back on themselves so you can run around the environment to avoid it and all that kind of stuff. I'd have it move a little bit faster than the Tyrant did, and sure, if it was going to have its weapons, fine. But there'd have to be some sort of trick to avoiding it or getting past it or losing it when it's chasing you. Maybe something like, it takes a while for it to get through doors or something like that. So if you door, 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 then you could lose it. Then again, that's just me thinking. It didn't. The game didn't turn out that way, so this is all just sort of armchair quarterbacking. 
So. Well, that was Resident Evil 3 Remake. Pretty good. Not as good as 2. Oh, post credit scene. Didn't expect that. Okay, she kept that for some damn reason. <laughs> C rank. <laughs> okay, there's supposed to be some kind of a store. The shop has been unlocked. Uh, where's the shop? Now oh, look at that. Okay, 7,260p. Recovery coin. Defense coin. Assault coin. Ha! <laughs> That's cool. Hell, such as perfect dodge become easier to perform. What, did they give me this? And you get a lockpick anyway. What good does this do me? Maybe it's because you get it earlier? Bolt cutters. You get bolt cutters. Hit pouch. Might not be available in assisted mode. This would exceed maximum inventory capacity. Hot dogger. Oh, cool. Samurai Edge. Oh, can't buy any of this shit. Eh. I mean, I could just get the stupid, uh, stars gear. Make her dress like she did in the original Resident Evil. Eh, I'm not gonna buy anything right now. I'm just gonna... Ha! <laughs> Look at the size of that goddamn thing. It looks ridiculous that someone's carrying it. It's a big power cord. Oops. There's no animations. There were animations in the 2 remake. I mean, you can rotate the thing, but she's not moving. Shoulder pads. <laughs> knife. At least she's not holding the damn knife backwards. I don't know where people get off thinking that that's a good idea. I mean, it looks cool, but it's insanely impractical. Your range of motion is severely limited. And you're like, oh, you get more power that way. Like, you don't need power. It's a fucking knife. You're not punching someone. And this whole idea that you can... Like, it's h harder to remove the knife from... To strip the knife from a person's hand when you're holding it backwards is blatantly false because the finger that is going to be ha uh, it's going to be the pinky that the most amount of pressure when somebody trying to remove the knife from your hand plus also the lack of range of motion and all that kind of shit it's just it's a stupid fucking way of holding a knife this is weird it's like i don't know <laughs> is she a zombie here or something i don't know Got the beret. Classic hair. Bread. <laughs> bread zombie bread. <laughs> this guy had a name? <laughs> Marvin. Is all right. I guess that's it. <laughs>